Our project today is using one of my favorite kind of doughs and it is called salt dough. It's made with salt and water and flour. And when you finish, you are gonna get some really cool projects like this. Here's a little donut that I made. Uh, here's a little snake I made, I haven't painted him yet. And here's a little heart bowl that I made. I haven't painted that one yet either. So these are just some of the options. Uh, the only animal I made was my uh, ladybug, but there's all sorts of animals that you can make out of this. Really, the um, options are endless. It's up to you how you want to make it. First, let's make our dough together. So let's go and get our packet. And inside, you will find a plastic bag that says salt dough. Make sure you get the one that says salt dough. You don't want the paper mache one. And you will notice that I have a little paper clip on it. This is because later on, if you wanna make an ornament, you need to have a little piece of, a little metal loop like that. So that's what this is for. I'm gonna set that aside in a safe place so that I don't use it. In order to mix up our salt dough, you're gonna need obviously the salt dough packet. You are gonna need a bowl and a spoon, and you are gonna need some water. Now I suggest that you move to the kitchen for a while and do this. It's not messy if you're careful, but we wanna be careful that we don't create a huge mess in our house. So I'm gonna take my salt dough powder and very carefully, I'm going to put it into a bowl. I have sort of a smallish bowl. You don't want a really tiny bowl because then it's gonna overflow. And before I do anything, I wanna take my spoon and I wanna mix it up because that's a combination of salt and flour, but I wanna make sure that that's thoroughly mixed. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure out one third cup of water and I'm gonna dump that in there and I'm gonna start stirring it around, just like this. Now my end goal is to get it about the consistency of Play-Doh. We all know what Play-Doh feels like. So I'm gonna keep stirring and stirring. I see there's still, let me, I think I need to start using my hands. I'm gonna start going like this. I have a little bit of powdery stuff in the bottom, but let me see how that feels. I'm gonna start kneading it a little bit like that. You know what? I think that feels pretty good. I have a little bit of powder left in here. Maybe I'll try to mix a little bit of that in here. But that feels pretty good to me. A Little bit sticky. Might wanna add a little bit more of this powder in there. Get rid of some of the stickiness. It's good, maybe I can go like this and grab a little bit more. I think that powdery stuff Ooh, I might have added a little bit too much powdery stuff. I'm just going to leave that behind. I don't think I'm going to add any more water. So I'm going to set this to the side. And now I have this awesome salt dough. It's a little bit stickier than um, Play-Doh, but not bad. Now this much dough will make at least three of these items that I've made. I will give you the recipe in case a different day you wanna make more. So I think I'm ready to go. It is just like any other clay now. I think I'm gonna start with the easiest thing first. I'm gonna show you how to make this uh, ladybug. Just pull off a little bit. Let's make it into a ball. I'm trying to get rid of all my cracks. So I'm gonna keep rolling a little bit. Then I'm gonna push it down like this. Now we don't wanna make things really thick like this. If you made a big ball like this, when you bake it in the oven, it would take forever. So we wanna make things that are a little bit flat. That's best for salt dough. Okay, that looks like about the right shape for my ladybug. Now you can take a knife. I have a little shish kebab skewer that I like to use to draw lines on things. This is just where I'm gonna draw a little head for my ladybug and then I'm gonna draw her wings I think I'm gonna make them go out like that I think that's really how they're supposed to look like that and now I think I'm gonna add her little dots I'm just gonna make a couple little balls 
tiny ones like this. And then I'm just gonna push those in like that. Oh, that looks good. I think this one, I'm just gonna have two dots on each side. And this will stick pretty well. You don't need to score it or anything. Just push it down like that. And then this one, I'm just gonna push down like that, okay? That is just how easy it is to make a little ladybug like that. I am gonna set that one to the side. Actually, I think I'm gonna take it to the kitchen and put it on my cookie sheet, because I'm gonna bake these. So that's gonna go to the kitchen on my cookie sheet. Now, um, I think the snake is pretty easy. You just make a coil. I don't think I need to show you how to make that one. I think I will show you how to make this little heart bowl. I really like this one a lot. So for this one too, Take it, go like this. I'm trying to get rid of a few of my little wrinkles in there. So to make my heart bowl, let me put this right here so you can see what I'm going for. I'm just gonna make sort of a flat heart like this. You could also just make it not in the shape of a heart. You could make a little bowl that's just a circle. I'm gonna pinch it like this. See how I'm getting that heart shape? Now I wanna pinch the edges up a little bit and push the middle part down. So I'm pinching the edges to make them go up and I'm pushing this part down just to create edges a little bit. This is a fun little bowl to put paper clips in. You could put money in it. You could put jewelry in it, whatever you would like. That really goes pretty quickly. Now on mine, I wanted to add a little bit of texture to it, okay? So I just took the end of my spoon and I went around the edge like this and I created, I think you might, I don't know if you'd call that a scalloped edge, just a nice little edge like that to make it a little bit more interesting. And then I think that I used a fork you could also use something like this. Oh, you know what, I think I'm gonna use the thick end of mine. That's gonna take forever. And you can just go like this and make a nice little texture in the middle. And now boys and girls, this is not how you have to do it. There are so many fun, creative textures that you can put on this. There are so many shapes. I could not even show them all to you. Lots of times you guys have better ideas than I do. So I think my little heart bowl is ready to go. Um, a donut like this is really easy to make. You just make a little coil and then join it together. This little um, sun, uh, it's, it's a Christmas ornament. I just made one circle and then I made another circle on top, added some fun little textures on it. Now this little guy, I think I'm actually going to turn him into an ornament. So let me show you how you do that forgot to show you that. You are gonna take this paper clip that I gave you, and if you're younger, you might need a grown-up to help you. You pull out the middle like this, and then you bend it back. And then you pull it out, and you bend it. And if you keep doing this, eventually it's gonna break off like this. Now there's two pieces, a big piece and a little piece. You wanna take the big piece, and you are just gonna push that right into the top of your ladybug. And that's gonna allow you to hang that as an ornament on a tree. You could hang it in your wall now. You could do whatever you want. If I had to do this over again, I think I might make my ladybug a little bit thinner so it wouldn't weigh quite so much. Um, but that is how you turn a salt dough um, creation into an ornament. So I have two things that I'm gonna bake right now. You need to bake them a long time two hours at 275 degrees. I'm also gonna write that down for you, but let me tell you again. Two hours at 275 degrees. If you don't cook it long, you can actually cook it, uh, you can check it part way through, but this is what you're going for. See how this is hard? You want it to be hard and probably on the back, it's gonna get a little bit brown. The first time I took this out, I only cooked it for an hour and a half. And when I touched it, it was sort of spongy. I could press it down. It needs to be pretty hard when you take it out. 
I don't know that you can really burn it if it gets a little bit dark brown on the back. That's okay because we're gonna paint it anyways. So 275 degrees for two hours, and then we are gonna let it cool and come back and paint it. I forgot to tell you to take a little bit of parchment paper to put on the cookie sheet before you bake it. It's probably okay too if you little put a little Pam on there, but you wanna put something on there so that it doesn't stick to your cookie sheet. So this baked for two hours. It's all cool now. See how hard those are? That's what you want it to be. So let me take these off of my cookie sheet. And now boys and girls, baking is something that you need to do with a grown up helping you. I don't think I said that before, but you need to make sure that you have a grown up helping you. For this part, you can do it by yourself. This is painting it. And inside your kit is a beautiful set of paints like this. So you can go ahead and get those. And um, included in that is a brush. If you have another brush that you would rather use, you don't have to use this brush. It's totally up to you. So I'm gonna get my paints out. These are not watercolors, these are called acrylic paints. And you have lots of really fun colors to choose from. Um, I think I'm gonna start painting my heart. And there's all sorts of beautiful ways that you can do this. I think I'm gonna start by painting mine light blue. Okay, now when you are painting this, you don't need to add any water to the paint. This is not watercolor. We don't wanna make it really watery. So you can just dig in right away, start painting any color that you want, just like that. Now, if you use a really light color like yellow, you might have to let it dry and do another coat. This is not super, super thick paint, but it goes on pretty easily. When I paint, I like to be careful and also do the edges like this. I think it just gives it a little bit of a better finished look. So I am going to turn my camera off and I'm gonna finish painting this and then I'm gonna show you my final product. So I finished painting my heart. I'm really happy with the colors I chose. One thing I didn't show you is how to open your um, paint containers. You have to hold a finger on the bottom tab and then lift up the top one, just like that. And then you should hear a little click. So hold this down and lift that up. It's not too hard. Um, I haven't painted my snake yet. I think I'm gonna do him green and yellow stripes or maybe I'll just do them all different kinds of rainbows. It's totally up to you. So boys and girls, this is how you make uh, salt dough. If you want, I'm giving you the recipe and you'll be able to mix up some more fun projects this summer. See you soon.